Hello everyone, this is King and welcome back to my video. Today I'll be showing you where to find the evil Dragu Eye and the Dragu Everflame. Xenoblade 3 is still a relatively new game, but it is more updated than when we first started, so that's good. But still, some information is still lacking, and hopefully you find this visual representation on where to find the monster material helpful and informative. Feel free to leave a comment on what other Xenoblade 3 videos you would like to see. And be sure to follow me for other Xenoblade 3 related content, or check out my Let's Play, which is included in the description below. Now let's get started. For the Dragu, you can find them as soon as you enter the Pentless region. They are found in the Makna Wildwood. So if you go from the Colony Tau location and head, I believe it's northeast, you're going to see a big giant tree trunk. Um, you're going to pass a bunch of I am drawing a blank on what they're called, but they're like birds. What are they called? Turkins? Yeah, there we go. You're going to see a bunch of Turkins. You're going to pass by them. There's going to be a huge tree trunk there. You're going to follow the tree trunk down. You're going to see a bunch of quad wings. That's how you know you're there. If you keep on descending down, you'll head to this point right here. You'll actually go there through the main story quest. You're going to get there to a point where they say, hey, we're going to stop here. Uh, a Colony Tau member, they were tracking a monster that came down here and said, hey, we shouldn't go here anymore. This is what they're referencing is the lower Makna Wildwood location. If you descend all the way down to the trunk, you'll head to a landmark called the Warning Tree. And as soon as you head there, just go past this river puddle here, head south. There is going to be two dragoons. There's going to be one right here, and I believe one somewhere like right here. I'll, I'll show you in a bit. But this dragoon is actually one of the monsters that you had to pass and defeat. During one of the main story progressions when you're in the Colony Lambda location, I think that's the... Uh, yeah, it's still the Pentalus region. It's one of the f further west side of the Pentalus region when you just first started that area. So they can be found here. They are all leveling 75. I didn't find any trash mob for the Dragoos, but I did find two of the elite monsters. I do believe that the a unique monster for this one is probably going to be the super boss so since this one is already level 75 i'm going to assume that the next one is going to be like 110 so for this particular mob you may just find it easier to farm them here if you already have noah and you have their unlimited sword you can have the flash fencer to rank 20 and just keep on spamming the attack and slash it is a multi-hit slash for noah as long as they are not a unique monster he has a chance of one-shotting them as you see here which is pretty lucky that i did that Super fast and super easy. You don't really have to try that much. You can be 10 levels below this boss. Pretty much, it's pretty simple. But that is all there is to it. Have fun farming. But that is all I have for today's video. Hopefully you have found that helpful and informative. Please let me know what other Xenoblade 3 videos you would like to see. And be sure to follow me for other Xenoblade 3 content I do post daily. I'll see you all in the next one.